Good morning. I'm Hidalgo County Judge Richard F. Cortez. I'm the chairman of Hidalgo County Drainage District Number One. Today's board meeting is being conducted within the parameters of Governor Greg, Greg Abbott's suspension of certain open meeting law requirements to the extent necessary to allow for telephonic or video conference meetings in response to this COVID-19 matter. Notice of this meeting has been posted online for at least 72 hours. The board is meeting by use of Zoom software and telephone transmission, which allows for two-way communication for members of the public during the public comments session. This meeting is being broadcast live online. A recording of this meeting is being made and will be available to the public at a later date. The time now is 9.48 and I call the meeting to order. We will begin with a roll call to establish quorum with precinct number one. Good morning, everybody. David Fuentes, precinct one. Eddie Cantu, precinct two. Everardo Villarreal, precinct three. Ellie Torres, precinct four. And Richard Cortez, County Just, that constitutes a quorum. Mr. Sassin, would you please lead us in prayer? Yes, sir. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Judge Commissioners. Dear Lord, we thank you for another beautiful day. We thank you for your promises of love and protection. Lord, I ask that you grant us hope, health, and healing to families and individuals who are facing struggles and battling illnesses today. Thank you for blessing us all with another day with our families and with our work. I ask, Lord, that you give us all the guidance, knowledge, discipline, and determination to effectively fulfill our duties are making the best decisions for Hidalgo County. And may we each recognize every opportunity to pass your blessings on to others. All this in your name. Amen. 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 Did we have anyone sign up for open forum? Uh, not for drainage, Judge. Okay. The next time on the agenda is your approval of the consent agenda. Yes, sir, Judge. Consent agenda. We have approval of check register. We do have a discharge permit and then some uh, uh, payment. Um, that has been vetted through uh, my staff. Uh, we recommend approval. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Carries. Item Thank 5A. You. Yes, sir. 5A, request your approval of addendum to the local agreement behind between the outcome Division 1 and the outcome Irrigation District number 16. Previously approved on October 8, 2018, agenda item 72657. Uh, this is an item that a pumping system that serves the Abram Acres subdivision and some other area uh, rural subdivision areas. Uh, it's been approved by the irrigation district already and it ties into our PD lateral work that we're doing out there right now. So we recommend approval. So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item B, discussion approval at App Condition 1, a resolution recognizing the necessity of acquiring easements, a right of way or fee title in connection with the construction of the Mile 6 alcohol project in Dow County, Texas, and authorizing an acquisition of said easements, a right of ways or fee title described in the resolution and exhibit there to the condemnation, eminent domain, or otherwise single vote shall apply to all units of property described in said resolution. I'm going to abstain from this uh, agenda item, and I have filed my conflict with the uh, drainage district. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Let the record reflect that Commissioner Fuentes abstained from voting or discussion on this matter. Thank you. Item C, request and approve the final on-call professional serving service agreement, CACD 21004 with Keeping Ahead and Associates, Inc. For now, condition of one project is subject to legal review as approved for negotiation by the board on 1 12 21. Second. Have a motion and second to approve. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Item D, request and approve the final on call professional serving service agreement. CACD 1 20 0050209 with SAMS Inc. For now, condition of one project is subject to legal review as approved for negotiation by the board of directors on 1 12 21. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. <clears throat> Item E, request and approve payout of water, water, water removal, six water removal reimbursement fund, six seven thousand six ninety three and fifty cents. So the outcome increasing four for construction of Senate one of rainbow drain for the following pay periods, pay period 11 from 4 27 2020 to 5 10 2020. 
the amount of 16, 9, 67, 55. In pay period 12 from 5 11 2020 to 5 24 2020, the amount of $50,725.95. Motion to approve. Second. Okay. To a motion and second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. That was a quick motion, Commissioner. Of um, course, I, sir. I, I went to second it as well. <laughs> 6A, 6A, she's going to share that with the other precincts. <laughs> I'll, I'll give loans. 6A, requesting acceptance and approval work session number six for the provision of ongoing owner inside support and pre construction activities in relation to the 2018 drainage bond issuance in the amount of 59,980.58 through the award of on-call professional engineering agreement. CACD 1170510919, BDC Engineering, subject to legal review. So moved. Second. We have a motion and second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 All motion carries. Okay. 6B, approval of issue payment and application of payment number three in the amount of 158,909.95. More will LLC, page business contract CCD 120 023 Project engineers to give engineering. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. 7A, request and accept and approval work session number four for provision of <laughs> services for the project dish 47 and dish 350 improvements in the amount of 2850568 through the award contract number CCD 120019-0310. From District Inc. for that additional one on call for pressure construction material testing service subject to legal review. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item B, requesting approval of all personal actions under M and O. Delete slot 120 truck driver 3, G8, S2. B would be create slot 120 fuel service truck technician and set salary at G10, S1. Uh, C would be create slot 12 construction inspector 3 and set salary at G11, S1. Re reclassify slot 78 equipment operator 2 to re reflect G8, S1. So those are the first two items are to uh, uh, get a, uh, a properly, I guess, uh, licensed uh, with the proper uh, credentials to operate our new service truck that we have. And then the construction inspector is a need for our construction that we have ongoing. And then item two, when we delete some positions, uh, we'll have a negative, excuse me, a positive impact of 1,157. So it, it almost balances out all the action that we recommended. And the other two are just, uh, uh, excuse me, and then, and then the reclassify slot 78 is just to put them in, in, in line with the rest of the, the other that we have at that, at that, at that pay, they put them up later too, so. Okay, motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 The motion carries. And item two, request approval following personal action on the administration. Uh, a, delete slot 12 engineering training G14S2. B, delete slot 38 right away agent G15S1. <clears throat> C, create slot 12 hydraulic and hydraulics a graduate engineer and set salary at G16-2. So with the deletion of the, the two slots and then the, create, the creation of this slot, one of our uh, engineering trainings uh, does all our H&H &H reviews uh, from all the bond projects that we have ongoing, all projects that we have ongoing. Not only that, but he helps develop the H&H &H, uh, for all the district work that we do also in-house uh, under the guidance of, of Mr. Sandivar, our, our lead engineer. So uh, we'd like to, I'd like to uh, create this slot for him and, and address uh, the pay for him uh, uh, that's in line for the level of effort that he puts out. And again, all this action, if approved, uh, would be $1,157 in favor of, of, of the district, so to speak. So there's no impact. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And three requests and approval budget amendment to reflect personnel actions. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And I have four requests and approval revised salary schedule. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. So uh, we don't have anything uh, today for executive session. Okay. Then I believe that concludes all of, all of our agenda items. 
I have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you very much. Good morning again. I'm Adelaide County Judge Richard F. Cortez. Today's commissioner's court meeting is being conducted within the parameters of Governor Abbott's suspension of certain open meeting law requirements to the extent necessary to allow for telephonic and video conference meetings in response to this COVID-19 matter. Notice that this meeting has been posted online for at least 72 hours. The court is meeting by the use of Zoom software and telephone transmission, which allows two-way communication for members of the public during the public comment section. This meeting is being broadcast live online. A recording of this meeting is being made and will be available to the public at a later date. The time now is one minute after 10. I call the meeting to order. We'll begin with a roll call to establish quorum with precinct number one commission. Good morning, David Point, this is precinct one. Eddie Gone through precinct two. Everardo Villarreal, precinct three. Good morning, L.A. Torres, Precinct 4. Richard Cortez, County Judge, that constitutes a quorum. Today, as is customary, we have uh, SPC Jennifer Garcia that will be leading us in uh, the Pledge of Allegiance. She, her branch of service, the United States Army Reserve and National Guard. Her service days started on April of 2002 through May of 2013. She was involved with Operation Iraq Freedom uh, Veteran. And she also served in uh, evacuating uh, support in deployment in Department of Veterans Affairs today with the title of housing specialist. She cares for assisting all the veterans here in our area. We welcome you and thank you for your service. Thank you. Will you please lead us in the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Of America. And to, and to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under, God, under God, in the visible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Thank you. Next, we're also honored by having the Honorable Arnoldo Cantu Jr. He's the County Court of Law Number Five Judge. Judge, would you please lead us in prayer? Thank you, Judge Cortez. And I didn't have. Commissioner Villarreal and Commissioner Torres on my screen when I said good morning. Good morning to Commissioner morning. Villarreal and good morning to Commissioner Torres. Let us all bow our heads. Dear Lord, we gather today as a community and we give thanks to you for being our hope, our peace, and our salvation. We ask that during this crisis, you protect us and be with us and all the families that are mourning the loss of loved ones. God of peace, we invite you to guide us through this meeting. Give us unity of spirit. Help us to listen to other points of view that are expressed. Help us and guide us to work as a unified team for great outcomes. Strengthen us as we confront hard decisions that must be made. Lord, we ask that you remain in our hearts and guide our steps, that we may act based on your wisdom. In your name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Judge. Judge Cortez, Commissioner Fuentes, Commissioner Cantu, Commissioner Villarreal, and Commissioner Torres, it was an honor for me to be here today. I, I have docket this morning. I cannot stay for the meeting. I'll be handling jail cases here in about two minutes. I ask you and everyone else that is listening and participating, please stay strong and stay safe. We're gonna get through this. Good, good luck to all of you and God bless. Thank, Thank you, Judge. Judge. All Thank the you, best Judge. to you, to you also. <laughs> Next item on the agenda is the approval of the consent agenda. Do we have any items to uh, pull? Yes, sir, Judge Commissioners, with your permission, I'd like to pull from consent agenda, consent agenda items 6A and 10 end. Move to approve the rest of the consent agenda. Second. Sure. We have a motion and a second to approve the remaining part of the consent agenda. All in favor say aye. Aye. 
Aye. Motion carries. Judge commissioners, for the record, item consent agenda item 6A uh, will be subject to the signed affidavits being filed. Everything else is in order. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Carries. And judge commissioners, for the record, consent agenda item 10N, there will be no action this week. No action. Okay. I'm sure we have people sign up for open forum. Can we please start our open forum? Mr. Gutierrez. Uh, yes, sir. First, we have uh, Janet Campos. Sí, soy yo. Sí, señora, uh, señorita Campos, este, hay un límite. Mándeme. Hay un límite de tres minutos. Yo le voy a avisar cuando le, le, le queda un minuto. Ok, adelante, okay. por favor. Mire, gracias por agarrar mi llamada. Y yo, yo quería ver si me nos podían. Yo me llamo Janet Campos, vengo de la colonia Eduardo IV. Y quería ver si nos podían ayudar con los de las lámparas y levantamiento de basura. Y gracias por agarrar nuestra llamada. Gracias. Judge Commissioner, this is a quick translation. Uh, Ms. Campos is uh, from number four. She is uh, called in uh, requesting assistance for her uh, for her area with respect to uh, trash trash pickup and the lamp lighting uh, program from the county. Mr. Gutierrez, our next presenter. Uh, we have uh, Angelica Olguin. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Angelica. Olguin. Olguin. Hello, yes, I'm here. Uh, hi, Ms. Olguin. Yes, there is a three minute time limit. I will advise when there is one minute. Please, uh, please begin. Okay, it's in Spanish, okay? Okay. Uh, buenos dias, mi nombre es Angelica Olguin. Soy de la colonia Eduardo número cuatro, en Misión, Texas, y también soy miembro de Lupe. Hoy quiero presentarme con nuestro nuevo comisionado, Mr. Ever uh, Villa, Villarreal. Quiero decirle um, que nuestra colonia y nuestra comunidad estamos listos para trabajar en futuros proyectos juntos. Uh, también quiero recalcarle que le queremos dar muchas gracias por reunirse con nosotros el viernes pasado y por tomarse un poco de su tiempo para escucharnos y platicar sobre el futuro de nuestra colonia y de nuestra comunidad. Uh, una vez más, le quiero dar muchas, uh, muchas gracias. Thank you. Gracias. Judge Commissioner, a quick, gracias. as a quick translation, Ms. Olguin is from the Colonia Eduardo number four, uh, Colonia Cuatro. Uh, she is with the organization Lupe. Uh, she is welcoming and thanking Commissioner Villarreal. They are ready to work on uh, current and future projects, and they especially want to send a thank you to Commissioner Villarreal for taking time out and meeting with the uh, with the colonial organization and its residents. Next, we have Fern McClarity. Thank you. Good morning, Ms. McClarity. There is a uh, three minute time limit. I will advise when there's one minute and I will begin when you begin. Commissioners and county judge, I wanted to remind you that your spending increasing increases the tax burden on the people who have been ordered by this court to shelter in place. The penalty and interest charge on unpaid property taxes begins February and uh, an equal 7% this month will be added to what they couldn't pay uh, this last uh, tax year. On March, the total grows to 9%. The penalty and interest grows each month until January of the following year. The total has grown to 24%. And before Hidalgo County uh, now uses a private attorney to collect delinquent taxes, they impose an additional 15% on July 1st to cover attorney's fees. Property owners who have been ordered to shelter in place can potentially face uh, 38 to 39% in their taxes this uh, the first year. So if they can't pay their taxes in the beginning, how in the world do they pay when you keep adding another 39% on top of that? 
Therefore, the reason that you have been getting questions on property tax penalty and interest charges is that no now people cannot pay their taxes because this commissioner's court ordered to shelter in place and close unessential businesses. This county and cities in, the, in this county also locked down playground equipment in public parks. Children have never been identified as carriers of the virus. This court has not met in public since Mar uh, March of 2020. And now you tell the people they must pay because the law does not allow for a deviation. The court that authorizes the suspension of human resource policies for the purpose of employing more people and increasing salaries is telling the people that they must pay because it's the law. Well, we've seen in the newspaper and on the news that a lot of cities don't believe they don't have to uh, abide by the laws that are on the books. So uh, just only the little people, the little taxpayers must follow the laws. Commissioner's Court, each of you are going to have to run again for office. Uh, and we will remember each and every one of your votes and that you burden the people. And of course, you can never do anything to help ease the pain. Uh, this is just unbelievable. And it, uh, I believe that my commissioner at the last meeting had several family members in her office. And uh, in the last few weeks, they've had people that are standing and talking and whatnot. We don't understand how you can meet the public in large numbers in your precincts, but you can't be in commissioner's court in the building that we paid money to re, uh, redo and to put new flooring down just recently. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Gutierrez. That was uh, it, Mr. Guerrero. We had two of the people that signed up for over the phone that didn't connect or okay. haven't connected yet. All right. Thank you, sir. Judge. Okay. Then the next item on the agenda is, is, is something we're really proud of it is the press, the pleasure of the this commission to honor Monsignor Juan Nicolau for six de decades of service to our Lord Jesus Christ. I believe we have a resolution to read. Uh, good morning, Judge Misty Palacios of the Public Affairs Division. And I'm having an issue starting my video here. Okay, there we go. Um, before I begin the resolution, I just wanted to let you know that we do have a special guest joining us that will be saying a couple of words after I read the resolution, and that's uh, Bishop Daniel Flores with the Catholic Diocese of Brownsville. And also, of course, Monsignor Juan Nicolau, Nicolau uh, Mesquita is joining us to accept the resolution. May I begin? Please, Misty. Thank you. Resolution honoring Monsignor Juan Nicolau Mesquita for six decades of service in the name of God. Whereas Monsignor Juan Nicolau Mesquita has faithfully served the spiritual needs of thousands of parishioners throughout the Rio Grande Valley. And whereas Monsignor Nicolau still remembers that life-changing day more than seven decades ago when his parents left him at a seminary in his native Mallorca, Spain, to bestow upon him the best education then offered in that country. And whereas after spending 13 years in that Mallorca seminary, despite the hopes of his family, to join the family business, Monsignor Nicolau instead decided to enter the priesthood. And whereas Monsignor once declared this, the priesthood his life and a calling to serve his people and declared that the three high points of his life were his baptism in the Catholic church, his ordination as a Catholic priest and his naturalization as a US citizen. And whereas Monsignor Nicolau has been administering to the spiritual needs of the people of the Rio Grande Valley in eight different parishes, including the Basilica of the National Shrine of Our Lady of San Juan de Valle, where he is considered one of the original founders. And whereas Monsignor Nicolau recently celebrated his 60th anniversary serving as a dedicated member of the clergy. And whereas this anniversary prompted the Honorable Henry Cuellar, a member of the US House of Representatives, to bestow on 
Monsignor Nicolau a Congressional Certificate of Recognition. And whereas the faithful of the Rio Grande Valley have joined in thanking this humble man of 82. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court hereby congratulates Monsignor Juan Nicolau Mesquita for his six decades of service in the name of God and thanks him for his commitment to the people of the Rio Grande Valley. Approved this ninth day of February, 2021. I have a motion to approve the resolution. So moved. Move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Congratulations, my senior. Se mira muy joven usted, que 82 años o qué? 83 años. Vaya confesión, cinco padres nuestros y cinco Ave Marías, por favor. Yo siempre recuerdo juez, su esposa, que desde el cielo siempre, siempre se cuida de mí. Le gustaba mucho mis sermones de la basílica. Es una gran alegría veros a todos aquí. Os quiero dar las gracias a todos los comisionados y a usted, juez. Siempre habrá críticas, pero en el fondo vosotros servís con todo vuestro corazón. Y yo en nombre de todos los aquí del condado, hoy doy las gracias. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart por lo bueno que estáis haciendo, cada uno de vosotros comisionados, en nombre de tanta gente que está contenta. Claro que hay algunos, siempre habrá crítica, pero vosotros tenéis fe y vosotros queréis servir. Una de las cosas que quiero decir es que debemos vacunarnos. Por tres o cuatro meses yo negaba la vacuna, le tenía miedo, pero después la fe en Dios. Y segundo, los medicamentos. Y tercero, la voz de los doctores. Decidí vacunarme. Y para dar ejemplo a todas las personas que están dudando, hay que creer en Dios, pero también Dios nos ha dado medicamentos y después la autoridad del doctor. El doctor me dijo del test oncology y family doctor, you must be vaccinated. Y yo tuve fe en los y tuve fe en la autoridad de mi doctor. Y a todos los que me siguieron negativamente, que no querían porque el padre Nicolau no se quiso, casi 60 mil en Instagram. Ahora yo digo, me pido perdón. Yo me vacuné y debemos vacunarnos porque es la salud, es lo mejor, es el regalo mejor que podemos tener. Entonces también vosotros ayudad a la gente para impulsar para que se vacunen. Y recordad siempre que Dios os va a recompensar a cada uno de vosotros, va a bendecir vuestras familias por el bien que hacéis a la comunidad de este condado, que yo también quiero tanto. Hace 50 años que estoy en el valle y ahora últimamente estoy en este condado de McKellar. Para mí aquí tengo mi corazón. Yo os escucho y oigo y oigo. I listen to you and I know that you are right. I know that you have faith. I know that you have intelligence. I know that you do the best you can. Felicitaciones, congratulations. Remember, judge, remember, commissioners, that God loves you, and so do I. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. I, believe we have, I believe we have some words from our bishop, Bishop Flores. Thanks, Judge, very much, uh, and uh, and thanks to the Commissioner's Court for uh, for this recognition of Monsignor. Um, uh, the whole diocese uh, has been uh, sort of celebrating with Monsignor his 60 years. We're very grateful for the gift uh, that God gave us by his service. Y quisiera felicitar especialmente al Monsignor en esta ocasión del reconocimiento. Um, there's so many things Monsignor has done. Uh, it served in almost every in every area of the diocese. But I do want to make special note of gratitude for for what he's been doing during the pandemic. Uh, he's been very active, uh, visiting the sick and the dying, especially in very difficult circumstances, and uh, and and praying at funeral vigils to accompany the people. Uh, it's an example for all the clergy. This at 82, continuing to be someone who wants to be a comfort in this very dire time. So I'm very grateful for, to Monsignor for his example to me and to so many. Um, as he really puts himself at risk uh, in the true spirit of the priesthood, and that's something that that uh, that I think uh, uh, God inspires him to do, and uh, also that we might all be 
um, benefit from his example. Um, and 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 I'd also to agree with Monsignor and to thank thank the court and thank you, Judge, for the the courage that you've shown in these difficult times. Um, we all try to row in the same direction, and that's what uh, I do believe that God will help us get through this. But uh, uh, but we have to work together, and so I'm very grateful. Pero Monsignor, muchísimas gracias por su ejemplo y uh, y felicidades a a usted y a todos los que uh, celebren, con, celebren con usted en este, en este momento de su vida. Pero gracias por su ejemplo y especialmente a trabajar con los enfermos y en este, este tiempo de la pandemia. So thanks, Judge. Thanks, Court, very much. And I'm very grateful. And Monsignor, we're very happy. Señor Obispo, quiero decirle que le estoy muy agradecido por su amor y por su aprecio hacia mi persona y por el bien que hace con su fortaleza y su inteligencia por todos los fieles de esta diócesis de Brownsville. Usted ha sido un regalo de Dios, un regalo de Dios. Gracias, Monseñor. Gracias. Muy amable. Any, any commissioner want to add anything to that? Uh, if I only had a tenth of his energy and, uh, and, and faith, <laughs> man. So impressive. I saw him in mass about three weeks ago. Uh, he's such a blessing to us all. Thank you both. Monsignor and, and, and Bishop for everything you do for us. God bless you guys and thank you for all the prayers. Thanks very much. It's a tremendous example of love and, and passion, compassion for others. So thank you very much for the example that you set for all of us to try to live by. God bless you and thank you for all you do. Congratulations and thank you so much, Monsignor and Bishop for everything that you do for all of us. Uh, God bless you and please keep all of us in your in your prayers. Congratulations again and thank you so much. Thank you. On behalf of Precinct 4, we also want to say thank you for your service and keep us in keep the whole world in your prayers. Thank you. Absolutely. It's been a, a, an absolute honor and a privilege to, to have both of you here today. You represent what's very best in the world, you know, service to others and service to our Lord Jesus. So we thank you for that. So with that, we'll, with your permission, we'll continue with our agenda items. Absolutely. You're in my prayers. Thank you. Thank you, Monsignor. Thank you, Monsignor. Next item is item 7A, Precinct 3, Commissioner Villarreal. Uh, Judge and Commissioner, today here I have uh, our Honorable Mayor Salvador uh, Vela from the city of Alton, our police chief, Jonathan Flores from the city of Alton and our city manager, Jeff Underwood. And today we're gonna have a resolution honoring the city of Alton Police Department. Whereas in January, 2020, the Alton Police Department began a lengthy process to become a recognized law enforcement agency. This voluntary process involved critical self review of the agency's policies, procedures, facilities, and operations. And whereas the Alton Police Department was evaluated to ensure they were in compliance with each of the Texas law enforcement best business practices in accordance to the best practices, it's crucial that all aspects of law enforcement operations, including use of force, protection of citizens' rights, vehicle pursuits, property and evidence management and patrol and investigative operations are effective and efficient. And whereas on December 16, 2020, the Alton Police Department was notified that it had received the award of recognized law enforcement agency from the Texas Police Chiefs Association Law Enforcement Recognition Program. And whereas the Alton Police Department becomes a 171st agency out of 2,700 law enforcement agencies in the state to be recognized and the first agency in Hidalgo County to achieve recognized status. And whereas this recognition serves to assure the citizens of Alton that its police department is conforming to the current state of the art law enforcement techniques and is considered one of the top police agencies in the state of Texas. Now, therefore, to be resolved 
that the Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court does hereby join with the City of Alton and law enforcement officials to congratulate the City of Alton Police Department on its recognition and service to our community. Approved this ninth day of February, 2021. Congratulations, Mayor. Congra congratulations uh, to the city and the police department. Motion to approve the proclamation. Second. We have a motion to second to approve the proclamation. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Congratulations. The next item on the agenda is consideration and approval of appointments of the Dow County Tax Incremental Investment Board. Commissioner uh, Precinct 3. <laughs> Commissioner Villarreal, uh, as Judge just uh, uh, mentioned or read out, you do have some appointments uh, under the Hidalgo County Tax Increment Reinvestment Board for the following uh, cities, La, uh, La Jolla, Mission, and Alton. Yes, sir. For La Jolla, I'm going to nominate uh, Daniel Flores Jr. For Mission, Martin Garza. For Alton, Jaime Barrera. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item 8A. Good morning, Ms. Muniz. Good morning, Vale. Annette Muniz, Chief Deputy for Arturo Guajardo Jr., Hidalgo County Clerk. Um, I believe the Justice of the Peace, I don't know if she's on line or not, Valde. Hello, I'm right here. Oh, okay. Good morning. Good morning. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. I am Dr. Uh, Sonia Trevino, Justice of the Peace for Precinct 3, Place 1. The item presented is, uh, for discussion and action is to ratify the transfer of my duties as a local registrar to the clerk for the County of Hidalgo. Uh, as you know, uh, giving you a little bit of background, the state of Texas has been pushing for several years to have the local registrar's office to consolidate their birth, their death, and their fetal death records over to the county. And this is for obvious reasons, because the county clerk's uh, um, office uh, obviously has uh, their staff, you know, for the vital statistics. They also have a, uh, that's what they dedicate themselves to. They have a, a trained staff to do that. Uh, there's specific paperwork to be filed. Uh, back in 2017, uh, the only officers to take advantage of that and to uh, take the course that the state of Texas is recommending was uh, J.P. Munoz in Precinct 2, uh, Place 2, and the city of Alton. Uh, they both uh, did that and they transferred their uh, responsibilities and duties over to the county clerk. Um, by consolidating this registration, uh, district would offer uh, benefits uh, that are also very obvious is with, with their location uh, being centralized uh, for the archiving of those records. It's also better better quality and uh, fraud control at the same time. And uh, it, it'll decrease a burden of the space for the offices that actually do have to currently uh, have this, the birth certificate, death certificate, and the fetal records that we hold even in our vault here, uh, take up at least half our, our vault and storage space as well too. Uh, there's more reasons than that, but that's pretty much in a nutshell, uh, which way I think that uh, the county should benefit from us uh, transferring uh, these duties. And Judge Commissioner, uh, the county clerk's office received this request by mail, uh, February 3rd, 2021. Mr. Guajardo, our county clerk has accepted this transfer. Uh, however, we do need authorization from commissioner's court to accept this. Motion to approve. We have, a motion, we have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank right, you, thank Judge. Thank you so much. Thank Judge, a, the uh, ratification of transfer has been sent to your office for signatures, uh, and it'll be passed around uh, after the meeting. 
Thank you. Right. Appreciate that. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. Y'all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Next item is item 9A, Sheriff's Office. Morning, Judge and Commissioners. This is Captain David Freeland for Hidalgo County Sheriff J.E. Eddie Geta. Under agenda item 9A, part one, requesting discussion, consideration, and action to rescind action taken on agenda item number 71067, First Amendment to Interlocal Agreement between Hidalgo and Cameron County for housing of inmates, which was approved by Commissioner's Court on July 1st, 2019. Part two, acceptance and approval of the First Amendment to the Interlocal uh, Cooperation Agreement, uh, C-15-269-07-21 between Hidalgo County and Cameron County for the purpose of housing inmates, including transportation and mileage rate at 56 cents at a rate of $60 per inmate. Judge, I'm gonna recommend that you take those up separately. The first item is to rescind the previous amendment Okay, a one. Okay, we have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second to approve item 9A1. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Motion to approve 9A2. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve 9A2. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item. Under 9B, we requesting approval of payment for the following invoice as submitted by Celso Gonzalez Construction, Inc. for construction of bus barn for Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office through the current agreement contract. C-19-267-06-07-21 for the amount of $49,742.55. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Agenda item 9C, uh, General Victim Assistance Grant Program 1284, Part 1, requesting authorization and approval to apply for the fiscal year 2022 General Victim Assistance Grant, also known as VOCA, with the Office of the Governor, Public Safety Office, Criminal Justice Division for the period of October 1st, 2021 through September 30th, 2022. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Take the next two. Part two, authorization for the county judge to e-sign the required document under e-grants as authorized official. And part three, authorization for the county judge to certify grant application under e-grants as authorized official. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion to approve C two and three. All in favor say aye. 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 Carries. Thank you very much, uh, Captain. Thank you. Item 10, 10 A, uh, Constable Precinct three. Good morning, Judge Commissioners, Chief Gonzalez with Constable Precinct three today. We have a presentation and discussion of the 2020 racial profiling as presented by the Hidalgo County Constable Precinct 3 Department in accordance with Article 2.132 of the Texas Code of Criminal Procedures. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Carry. Thank you. And the second, we have uh, authorization and approval to apply for year 2022 local border security, LBSP, uh, grant with the Office of Government, Governor, Homeland Security, Grant Division, uh, OOG-HSGD uh, through e-grants for the period of September 1st, 2021 to August 31st, 2022. You want me to read all these at one time? Yes. Okay. Number two, authorization for the County Judge Richard Cortez as authorized official to e-sign application under e-grants. And number three, approval of resolution for the year 2022 LBSP grant to designate Judge Richard Cortez as grantees authorized official to sign the required documents. Motion to approve. Second. 
a motion to approve item B1, 2, and 3. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank, Thank you very, you very much. much. 11A, Precinct 4, Constable. Judge Commissioners, if I may, for Constable Precinct 4, uh, he's asking for presentation and discussion of his 2020 racial profiling report uh, as presented by the Constable Precinct 4 Department in accordance with Article 2.133 of the Texas Code of Criminal Procedures. So move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Second action item is for the precinct four OP, uh, uh, Constable Precinct Four OPS G grant. That's fund twelve eighty four. Approval is submitted to the Office of the Governor, Public Safety Office, the prohibited telecommunication and video surveillance service certification form as required by the grantor with authority for the county judge as authorized official to sign document. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion, motion carries. Item C for Constable Precinct 4 is the LBSP Fund 1284. is asking authorization to approve to apply for the local border security program. Uh, fiscal year 22 grant with the Office of Governor Homeland Security Division through e-grants and authorizing the county judge to e-sign the application and related documents under e-grants as the authorized official, as well as approval of resolution for the L, uh, LBSP fiscal year 22 grant, designating Judge Richard Cortez as grantee's authorized official and sign required documents. For the record, the grant period is September 1st, 2021 through August 31st, 2022. Motion to approve 11C, 1, 2, and 3. Second. Second. <laughs> say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge Commissioners, uh, before we go on to human resources with your permission, we uh, did have uh, one of the two uh, participants from Open Forum that was having trouble signing on that did register. We do have one of them. If we could Please go back and and uh, acknowledge the one uh, open forum participant left, Mr. Gutierrez. Yes, sir. It's Aurora Sanchez. Let me bring her in. Eh? Bueno. Bueno. Este con el comisionado Ever Ever Villarreal. Okay. Adelante, señora. Señorita. Adelante. Ah. Este, nomás le queremos agradecer por habernos atendido. Yo soy la señora María Sánchez de La Lupe, de la Unión de Campesinos, por haber, por haber hablado con a casi a nosotros y queremos darle sinceramente todas las gracias por atendernos, por haber atendido. Gracias. Ah, bueno. Eso era todo. Gracias. Judge Commissioners, ah. a quick translation. Uh, Sanchez is with the organization Lupe, and she had called in and uh, uh, wish to thank Commissioner uh, Villarreal for taking time to meet with uh, the organization as residents uh, in their area. Thank you. Judge Commissioners, uh, that'll conclude open forum. If we could please go back to item 12, uh, human resources. Good morning, judge commissioners, Erika Reina for the Department of Human Resources. Item 12A, requesting a waiver of the following if applicable for the personnel items listed. I need action on item number three, the budget amendment policy, personal related amendments. Motion to approve. <clears throat> there a second? Second. A motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Item 12B for the district attorney's office. Approval of the following personnel actions effective the next full pay period, February 15, 2021. The action is to add a supplemental for slot 0046, a criminal investigator two in the amount of $8,279. Judge commissioners, this is due to additional and more complex duties related to criminal investigations. And if approved, this item would be paid out of the DA's forfeiture fund. So moved. Second. 
We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a great day. Judge Adult Commissioner. 13A. Uh, Judge Commissioners, uh, for the record, I'd like to acknowledge the fact that uh, Constable Gaitan was on the Zoom meeting call for Commissioner's Court. Uh, unfortunately, we had uh, a bit of a problem taking him off mute. Uh, that's why we couldn't hear him. So again, just for the record, Constable was on our Zoom meeting call uh, and appreciates uh, the action that's taken by Commissioner's Court. So with your, 13A. with your permission, Judge Commissioners, for the adult probation, Mr. Patrick. Hello, uh, Faustino Perdi Lopez. Good yes. morning, Judge Commissioners. Faustino Lopez with the adult probation department. I'm here on item 13A, approval to um, apply for the following fiscal year 2022 Office of the Governor Criminal Justice Division grants and approval of resolutions pertaining to each grant. One, domestic violence court, Court grant number 3110406, two DWI court grant number 2413912, Veterans Court grant number 2431511, four reentry court grant, five misdemeanor DWI court grant number 3623204, Six mental health court grant number 3848403. Seven substance abuse treatment facility RSAT grant number 2928007. Eight youthful offender court grant number 3813403. Nine misdemeanor drug court grant. And finally, 10 felony domestic violence court grant. Uh, second. We have a motion and a second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Mr. Thank you. Magoria. Thank you very much. Mr. Longoria, 14A. Good morning, Judge. Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, Jaime Longoria with the Hidalgo County Community Service Agency. Item 14A is a presentation and discussion regarding the Hidalgo County Community Service Agency annual report for program year 2020. Judge Commissioners, uh, I, I know. Uh, you know, in the in the in the middle of the pandemic and in the middle of uh, all of the different uh, different things that we have going on, sometimes it's easy to uh, to kind of overlook some of the things that that uh, the county does to assist families uh, every day and in, in, in making the pandemic a little a little more toler tolerable. And I wanted to to take this opportunity uh, now to to kind of highlight some of the things that uh, the community service agency has been doing to assist families and taken uh, this annual report and, and wanted to give you all some information about the kinds of services that we provide. And with your permission, I'd like to, uh, to do a, a brief uh, PowerPoint presentation. And uh, I, I promise to be brief in the, interest of, uh, in the interest of time, but I'd like you all to discuss this if you could, please. So I'm gonna share my screen with you all. So, uh, um, Okay, Judge Commissioners, um, uh, the Hidalgo County Community Service Agency, our, our theme for this year is shining a light of hope uh, during, during the dark times that, we're, that we've been facing together. Uh, just just as, a, as a recap, uh, we wanted to, uh, to go over the population we serve this year, uh, a little bit different than most years. Uh, we've uh, just about doubled, a little, a little over double the, the number of clients that we've assisted. On a typical year, we serve uh, about 18, about 8,000 families. Uh, this year, we're, we're over 19,000 families. This year, I mean 2020. Okay, so this is a recap of 2020. So we, we were in 20, 19,000 households during 2020, and there were all these families below 200% of federal poverty. Uh, we assisted low-income households. We created partnerships. Uh, we had tried to address poverty in the middle of the pandemic. And um, uh, most of all, we tried to improve the quality of life for vulnerable families. Uh, as as, as you well know, we have three, three pillars, three pillar programs that we're, that we're very well known for. The utility assistance program, a case management and emergency response program, and our rent and, and mortgage assistance. Tell you just a little bit about our, our, our utility assistance program. Uh, bottom line is we were able to assist families to almost $7 million, $6.8 million. 
the, the pandemic hit us in March. Our fiscal year started in January. So we were just getting, getting started with helping families across the county with their utility bills. And, uh, and as we continued through March, all the way through the end of the year in December, we were able to assist uh, uh, to the tune of about almost $7 million. We assisted 8,502 households. Uh, of that, 6,284 of those were, were families over the age of 60 and 4,485 of those were disabled households. And then you have the breakdown of, of, of what type of assistance we provided. Of course, electricity being the biggest, uh, the lion's share. Uh, when the pandemic hit, we, we didn't know we were getting extra dollars coming into the county. So we continue to pro prioritize the vulnerable households and, and the disabled. Um, as we moved into, uh, into the pandemic, about the month of, uh, I'd say late May, we received our own LIHEAP CARES money. Uh, LIHEAP is utility assistance dollars. Now, while that $193,000 uh, of total dollars spent looks relatively low, we made a strategic decision to continue spending our regular dollars, uh, the dollars that you just heard about, and kind of keep these uh, LIHEAP dollars because these dollars I can spend all the way through September of 2021. So we used our regular dollars that almost $7 million and the rest of this funding, we have a, about a little over $2 million still available to us under the LIHEAP CARES program to be able to continue assisting families that were affected specifically by the pandemic. As you well know, the, the effects of the pandemic are more widespread at this point. So uh, we, have, uh, we have these dollars together with our 2021 dollars to be able to assist families going forward. So we are in a very good position. Our community service block grant, th this is typically the funding that we receive. Uh, we receive it January through December. And this is the dollar, these are the dollars that we, that we use to help families with scholarships. We help families uh, that are in emer emergency situations. But in March of, of 2020, as you recall, when the pandemic hit, we switched our focus to start assisting families who were struggling with the pandemic right from the beginning. We didn't know that uh, the CARES Act was coming in in June. Uh, we wanted to make sure that families from the very beginning of the pandemic were receiving assistance. So we, we devoted our, our funding to family support. We split it between assisting families and our disaster response. Okay, keep in mind, we also had, in the middle of all of this, we had Hurricane Hannah. So I wanna give you a little bit about the numbers of, of families that we assisted. These are our regular community service block grant dollars. Okay, so we assisted uh, 200, 273 households were uh, avoided eviction, 309 households obtained uh, temporary shelter. Those are families that we put in hotels uh, to get them out of harm's way, either because of the pandemic or because of the hurricane. We assisted uh, 221 households with safe and affordable housing. Uh, we uh, distributed 1,100 individual uh, food bags to families. We assisted with home repairs, 1,164. We assisted families with transportation services, uh, 661 individuals. We, uh, we assisted the sheriff's office and the and actually Mujeres Unidas with uh, domestic violence uh, assistance and, and providing some emergency housing for families. We also uh, distributed 1,420 individual gift cards for basic, uh, basic needs and essentials. We, uh, we were able to provide uh, 51 individuals with financial aid for various uh, educational endeavors. And we assisted a total of 9,633 uh, households with that, uh, with that regular funding that, that we received. Then all of a sudden, again, I'm taking you back to March of, of once the pandemic hit, uh, the agency received a little, a little over $2 million in LIHEAP, I mean, in CSBG CARES money. So this was our own funding that we received that came from the CARES Act. We received a little over $2 million. With that $2 million, we've been able to assist. Uh, we, we, we acquired over 10,000 bags from the Rio Grande Valley Food Bank and with the work of the with the cooperation of the precincts, we were able to distribute those food bags uh, to the elderly population around Hidalgo County. And that was a very successful endeavor at the very beginning of the, the pandemic. We also assisted with Operation COVID Shield. We, provide, we provided logistical support for the nurses who were out educating uh, persons who were being tested uh, with, with regards to COVID-19. 
And we also were able to assist, uh, one of the other highlights is we recognized that there was a gap um, in services to Head Start families. Uh, Head Start families were not, uh, are not part of the regular education funding that uh, TEA distributes to the school districts for technology. So Head Start students were, were for all intents and purposes left out of, uh, of the dollars that were put in for technology for people to access services from home. So working with Head Start, we were able to purchase uh, some laptop computers, some Chromebooks. We were able to purchase some hotspots for uh, many of the students in Head Start that were needing that particular service. So we were able to do that with the CSBG dollars. Uh, the other good part of that is we held on to some of that CSBG dollars and we've got a, a little over a million, $1.2 million left to continue to assist families with uh, the services going forward that CSPG CARES would cover. That would be for families that are affected by, uh, by COVID-19. Moving forward, so let me tell you a little bit about what we did with that. We, this is CSBG CARES. 1,480 families avoided eviction. 123 households avoided foreclosure. Uh, we assisted 78 individuals with educational resources. 1,873 rent payments, 169 mortgage payments, 910 utility payments, 164 prescription payments, and 10,400 uh, food bags. Uh, we were able to assist families with transportation services uh, for a total uh, number of services uh, of 1,182 households that we were able to, to assist with this funding. Keep in mind, we still have some of this funding available to continue all the way through uh, all the way through June and July of this year. Moving forward uh, for our for our veterans, this is a this is a, our veterans grant. The veterans grant comes to us in July, and we're able to assist uh, into the new fit into the new fiscal year. So what you're what you're looking at is is partial numbers. Uh, we've been able to assist uh, veterans to the tune of three hundred forty five thousand uh, dollars, and this is all utility payments. This is helping to get veterans into uh, our facility uh, virtually. And we're doing all of this virtually so that uh, we keep the veterans safe, but at the same time, we're connecting them to, to much needed resources in the community. Our REMOR program, this is, this is the, the funding that we received through the county. Now keep in mind the numbers are relatively low here, but keep in mind that these three programs, CSBG, LIHEAP and CSBG CARES, also work together with the REMOR program to provide assistance to families who were in crisis with uh, the rent and mortgage. Uh, so under the REMOR program, we were able to assist families uh, to the tune of a, a little over $600,000 in, in assistance. We provided 714 mortgage payments, 250 rental payments. We had 206 households that were in eviction proceedings and we were able to assist them with that. And we had 601 households that were in some type of foreclosure, uh, in danger of foreclosure. So we were able to head that off. So we're real proud of the three programs working together to be able to assist families all across Hidalgo County. Uh, those families that were in, in crisis because of rent or mortgage. Then finally, we also have our, our, our senior programs. We have uh, well over 500 uh, seniors, uh, folks over the age of 55, who are working uh, both, we're working in Head Start centers we're working with uh, to keep other seniors safe. And we're also working in our food pantries. We're working to keep the supply of food to the vulnerable families moving forward. So many of these volunteers, uh, once it's safe, will return to those, uh, uh, those particular uh, endeavors. And uh, just wanted to give you a recap. We had over 60,000 hours um, in the RSVP program, the Retired Senior Volunteer Program that were donated this past year. Uh, we had uh, 82,545 senior core hours that were donated. Now, what a senior core member does, that's an elderly person who is calling uh, the homes of other uh, vulnerable, disabled, and elderly folks to check on them during the pandemic to make sure that they're healthy and that, they're, they're, that their needs are being met. And finally, the foster grandparent program. This is a program that matches the, the older residents with uh, with, with uh, Head Start aged children. Uh, this program continued to, to move forward and continue to provide services even through the pandemic. And currently we're working with Head Start 
to determine when it's going to be safe for these particular uh, volunteers to return to the classroom. So with that program, we had uh, over 64,800 hours that were donated uh, to the program. All in all, just to give you a recap, uh, and this is a summary of all of the uh, all of the programs that I just went over. Uh, we had 2,354 home households that avoided eviction because of our services. We had 724 homes that uh, we saved from foreclosure. We uh, we distributed 4,821 rental payments, 2,891 mortgage payments. Uh, we did 82,406 utility payments and 164 prescription payments. Now this is in addition to, you know, the temporary shelter, in addition to all of the other kinds of services that we provided during the pandemic. Uh, all of this totaled to a, a little over $8 million, $8,188,776.31 worth of services that we provided to the, the vulnerable households here in Hidalgo County. Uh, commissioners, judge, that, that concludes my, uh, my brief annual report. Uh, there's a lot of detail to this, but uh, it's my intent that within the next week or two, we will bind uh, an official annual report uh, that will include financial statements and include uh, more detailed information for you. But this was a 35,000-foot aerial view of the services that we provided during the pandemic. I'll certainly entertain any questions or, or comments from, from you all at this point. Well, Jaime, all I can say, wow. I mean, you are a sense of pride. You and your and your agency are a sense of pride to us for providing all these services. Uh, you know, we all thank you for that. And all I hear is, uh -huh. is, is good things from the service that you provide. How many families do you think in Hidalgo County qualify for these services? A judge, you know, at 200% of federal, you know, I'll tell you at 150% of federal poverty, there's about 110,000 families. So at 200% of federal poverty, I would say that's probably, you know, closer to 200,000 families that would qualify for our services. And according uh, to our census, we have about a little over 300, 300 and some odd families in Hidalgo County. So that means one third of our families easily are, are considered to be in poverty. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, at 100% of federal poverty, I'd say there's uh, about 90,000 families, closer to 100,000. So the numbers are, are sky high and and and, uh, and and the need is the need is great you know and, and I'm proud to say that we have a, a dedicated team of, of workers that uh, that didn't go home you know they didn't uh, they were here through the, the entire pandemic and they continue to plug along and provide services our phone lines are jammed almost on a daily basis uh, it's it's a little frustrating because we try to triage you know and, and yesterday I spoke to a gentleman who was behind 10 months on his ramp and, uh, and and broke down in tears when I told him that we could uh, provide some some relief from that. And uh, he said, anything you can give us to assist us would make me be able to face my family again. So we hear these stories day in, day out, judge and commissioners. Uh, and, and it really, my hat's off to the staff uh, because it's it's not easy to hear those stories on a, on a daily basis. And some of them aren't as pleasant. You know, some folks are, are angry and, and rightfully so. Their life has been interrupted and, and they're wondering where their meal is going to come from. So uh, we, we try our best to provide services uh, efficiently and quickly because we know people are in crisis. So, uh, you know, I, I, I thank all of the commissioners. Commissioner Eddie Cantu provided a team of uh, promotoras that were in our office for, you know, six, six, eight months to be able to provide assistance. You know, Commissioner Torres has been able to assist us in food distributions. You know, Commissioner Flores, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Commissioner Flores before Commissioner Villarreal was able to assist uh, with with various uh, various projects. Commissioner Villarreal, I've spoken to him and he's willing to give us space in Precinct 3 to operate. And I'm, you know, I'm very pleased with, uh, you know, Commissioner Fuentes was also gave us space to operate and has provided uh, staff and logistical support in the middle of that Hurricane Anna. Uh, Judge and your office has been very helpful. So, you know, my hat's off to all of you all and all of our uh, county departments for assisting us in these endeavors. I mean, with, a, with us knowing that we're gonna get $26 million to help with rent assistance, have you started creating a plan? And if so, um, can you share it with us? Not right now, can you share it with us offline so that we can prepare for the, all that money and see how we're gonna handle it, whether 
you're going to do it alone or we're going to bring in outside agencies to help? Absolutely, Commissioner. I, I had a brief meeting with uh, the chiefs of staff to bring them up to speed yesterday. And, and I my intent is to visit with you all today and, and talk to you all about, uh, you know, what the plans are for that assistance. It's going to be a countywide effort, uh, you know, similar to the census effort. And judge, I've asked uh, the county judge's office to to reinvigorate mm -hmm. those uh, census committees because I think those census committees can easily be, you know, trans translated, transferred into uh, this uh, humongous effort of spending the twenty six million dollars to the families who need it uh, in in a very short nine months. So uh, we're gonna it's gonna be a kind of a gargantuan kind of uh, effort. Well, I'm gonna tell you that that. You know, when we added the precincts, working with the health department, the cities and the schools to administer this vaccination, I mean, we're seeing an extremely well-polished, well-organized uh, way of, of, of doing things. So we know we know when we're working together, we can get it done better. So absolutely count on, on all the precincts and us to work with you to, to get as efficient as we can. Absolutely. I, mean, I want to congratulate you and your staff. Your, your staff here has been uh, exceptional and phenomenal to work with. Uh, but more than that, thank you for your efforts and always reaching out, communicating with us about opportunities and programs that are available in our area so we can help promote that. You know, you, you disseminating that information is really important for us to get that message out. Um, and we can tell that there's a tremendous amount of need by the number of people that show up at your, that line up. Uh, when you do these programs and you can only take the first 50 and, you know, we're not able to, to service everybody that shows up. Obviously, there's a tremendous amount of need. So anything that we can do to maybe double these numbers or increase them by another couple million, you know, like Eddie said, you know, we're we're here to help you. We're here to assist. Our staff is a resource to you. Just keep up the great work. Um, this report is, you know, encouraging. And I'm sure that everybody feels somewhat, you know, grateful that we have great leadership at the CSA. Let us know how we can continue to partner up and help you out. Thank you, Commissioner. You know, on that note, I was I was pleased that we were just notified, Judge and Commissioners, uh, uh, Texas Department of Housing and Community Affairs uh, had some some 2020 uh, utility assistance money that was not spent at another at another cap agency across the state. Uh, they asked us if we wanted that extra million dollars, and uh, we didn't bat an eye. We we and next week you'll see a. Uh, You'll see a budget amendment because they're giving us an extra million dollars of, of, of 2020 money. So, uh, you know, I'm really excited that they have faith in us to be able to move money and, and provide assistance to families. So you'll see that very soon. Mr. Longoria, I just want to thank you sincerely for all the work that you do, uh, your staff as well. There's no way that you could do this alone. So I recognize that, that you've got a tremendous team and please know that you have partners uh, at Precinct 4 as well as all the other precincts, like they just said. And uh, we're here to work with you and, and to move this forward to serve our community. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you, Commissioner. Hi, man. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, anything that we can do to help, uh, just uh, reach out. Thank you for uh, coming over here to the precinct. We, I enjoyed uh, uh, our meeting. And uh, just know that you have an office over here if you need it, so we can better serve our people. Thank you so much for everything that you're doing. Thank, thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Judge, may I uh, move on IT, item please, 14B? Okay. Uh, item uh, 14B is discussion, consideration, and possible action to accept the AmeriCorps notice of grant awards for year 2021 as follows. Uh, you can take all three, I believe, retired senior and volunteer program in the amount of $5,000, senior companion program in the amount of $7,500, and the foster grandparent program in the amount of $7,500. These are augmentation grants. These are money in addition to, to our regular grant award uh, these are funds that will be made available for special uh, services that we give to those uh, those seniors uh, that provide uh, essential services to us every day. Motion to approve. Go ahead, no, Commissioner. I'm sorry. No, okay, motion Mr. second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, Commissioners. Uh, thank you, Jaime. Item 15A, Precinct 1, Commissioner Fuentes. Thank you, Judge. Requesting approval to accept a donation of 745 assorted books for the Progreso Resource Center and the Monte Alto Resource Center from, from the Catholic Daughters of the Americas, Queen of the Rosary, number 2368. Motion to approve. Second. 
All in favor say aye. 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 Judge, uh, thank you very much. I just want to take a minute to recognize, uh, obviously we appreciate the Catholic Daughters of the Americas uh, chapter that, that is donating these books. We all know that literacy is extremely important in our area and we appreciate the donation and most especially to Miss Lucy Miramontes for coordinating this effort in this donation. It's gonna go to very needy communities. Uh, so we're very, very thankful for her uh, leadership in getting us this donation. Thank you, Judge. Absolutely. Item six and eight, Commissioner Polis. Yes, it is with great excitement that I am requesting approval to enter into a memorandum of understanding with McAllen ISD, Capable Kids Foundation, and the City of McAllen to construct an inclusive, all-inclusive park to be located at Sanchez Elementary School in McAllen, Texas. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Congratulations, Commissioner. Good job. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. So awesome. Item 16B, uh, requesting approval to name a 15-foot wide private road located on the north side of Chapa Road at approximately 40 east of Ted Garza Road, located in Linsa Manuel as Las Palomas Ranch Service Road for 911 purposes. Motion to approve. Second. I have a motion second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Commissioner. <laughs> item 17A, budget and management. Morning, Judge Commissioner, Sergio Cruz, budget and management. Uh, item 17A is approval of medical coverage for the temporary employee listed on the agenda. As for the Aff Affordable Care Act, uh, IRS Code Section 4980H, shared responsibility for employers regarding health insurance. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. And item 17B is approval of 2021 appropriation of funds in the amount of $239,000 for court reporter services fund. Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Carries. Thank you, Judge Commissioner. Item 18A, Purchasing Department. Good morning, Judge Commissioner. Dina Trevino with the Purchasing Department. Item 18A, requesting approval to declare as surplus the items listed in Exhibit A for the purpose of sale through webcast online auction scheduled for February the 24th. 2021 in accordance with Texas Local Government Code 263.152A1. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B, pursuant to Texas Local Government Code 263.1511 and or 263.152A3, in the event that no bids are received, uh, Commissioner's Court may proceed to order any of the property to be destroyed or otherwise disposed of as worthless in as much as the sale of said items, Commissioner's Court undertook to sell under sub subsection one. Motion to approve. Second. Who oversees this process, Tina? Uh, the fixed assets, fixed asset division. Thank you. I have a motion and second to approve. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C, request that the authoriz authorization to publish advertise for the auction of surplus items scheduled for February the 24th, 2021. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 18B for the executive office, request an approval of letter of substantial completion for services rendered in connection with Hidalgo County Juvenile Youth Village demolition as submitted by Project Engineer Half and Associates. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B, requesting approval of payment of invoice 4286 in the amount of 60,000 to Camacho demolition with authority for County Treasurer to issue check after review and auditing procedures are completed by the county auditor. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 18C for the county judge's office. Uh, emergency management requesting authority to advertise 
for the provision of consulting services to update and revise the hazard, hazard mitigation action plan for Hidalgo County with approval of procurement packet and just for the record to uh, to be able to re-advertise if necessary. So moved. Second. Okay. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion. Motion carries. Item B, appointment designation of an evaluation committee to review score and grade the submitted request for proposals pursuant to RFPQ packet herein. Uh, Judge, I want uh, Mayor Suarez or Chief, uh, please. Okay. Mando Garza. Martin Garza. And Belinda Reyes. For precinct four. Judge, uh, from the county side, you'll have obviously Chief Saldana, but who else would be participating? In the evaluation? Yes, sir. I, I want to participate because I, I need to I need to become a little more more uh, knowledgeable in, in this area. Okay. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Make a, nom uh, make a motion to approve the nominations. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 18D for precinct one. We're gonna take no action at this at this time at the request of the precinct. Mr. Davino. Yes. Judge commissioners, uh, just as, as always for the record with respect to the evaluation committee, uh, a representative from my office uh, and purchasing department would be available for any questions to be answered and or clarifications to the committee. All right. Thank you, Wendy. Thank sure. you. Next item. Okay. Item 18 um, E for precinct four, request an approval of amendment number one with Rabba Kistner for on call en professional engineering services for construction material and geotechnical testing. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B, requesting approval for work authorization number one in the amount of 14,494 and 15 cents under the current on-call agreement with Rabba Kistner for the provision of construction material and geotechnical testing for FM 2812, Hidalgo County <coughs> Program Parking Lot Improvement. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Item two, I'm sorry. Item two, request an exception from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262.024A4, a professional service. I'll move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. B, presentation of scoring grid of firms graded through the county school of pre-qualified professional engineering engineers for the purpose of ranking by Hidalgo County Commission Court in connection with reconstruction of mile 17 and a half from Monmac Road to Root Road in Precinct 4. The firms are the following. Terracon with 185 points. GDJ with 195 and Alpha Infrastructure with 175. Would Motion to approve as ranked. Okay. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C, pursuant to the Hidalgo County Commission's Court approval, requesting authority for the Hidalgo County Purchasing Department to negotiate a professional engineering service agreement with a number one ranked firm. G -D -D -G -D -J for the provision of professional engineering services. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 18-3, A, request an exemption from competitive bidding requirements under Texas Local Government Code 262.024A4, a professional service. I'll move. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B, presentation of scoring grid of firms graded through the county's pool of pre-qualified professional construction management services for the purpose of ranking by uh, the county uh, commission uh, in connection with design and construction of Park. 
or motion to. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you going to finish reading that? Sorry about that. Uh, the firms are uh, B2Z with 195 points, Estrada with 186, and RGVCM Group with 182. Motion to approve is ranked. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Carries. Item C, pursuant to Hidalgo County Commissioner's Court approval, requesting authority for the Hidalgo County Purchasing Department to negotiate a professional construction management services agreement with the number one rank of B to Z for the provision of professional construction management services. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, item four, requesting approval of amendment number one with Millennium Engineering Group for on-call professional engineering services for construction material and geotechnical testing for PC4. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item F for the IT department. Discussion, consideration, and action to approve a necessary CARES Act relief fund expenditure to cover costs not accounted for in the current budget and cannot be lawfully funded by line item allotment or allocation for Hidalgo County in order to assist with county functions and compliance with public health measures related to the ongoing COVID-19 public health, health yeah. emergency, yeah. establishing a Wi-Fi project to assist the citizens with distance learning, including technology improvements, as well as improving telework capability, the court having reviewed the agenda item briefing herein find that such expenditure is reasonable and necessary for the intended use. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item B, request an exemption from competitive bidding procurement requirements under local government code 262.024A1 and 2 attached herein. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item C, requesting authority to adjust the original purchase order for the Wi-Fi equipment and professional service services through our membership with the Omnia contract for uh, change request number seven only, not, not change request number eight. Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 18 uh, G for the Health and Human Services Department. Approval of supplemental agreement number one for Saints Inc. for uh, the Bio Safety Laboratory Facility Project to extend the termination de date from July 20, 2021 to July 20, 2022. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 And carries. Item two, requested consideration and approval of the interlocal cooperation agreement between Hidalgo County and La Jolla Independent School District for the purpose of effectively responding to public threats and emergencies. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Carries. Mr. Davino, I, Mr. Yes. Davino, Judge Commissioners, if I may, Mr. Davino, did you clarify, was there a clarification on item F1C with respect to CR8 change order? Yes, right. right. Change, change request number seven only, not not to take action on, on um, change request number eight. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, item two. Requesting consideration and approval of the interlocal cooperation agreement between Hidalgo County and La Jolla Independent School District for the purpose of effectively responding to public health threats and emergencies. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item three approval of, of third amendment to Net Smart Technologies Master Agreement to include my insight configuration. NetSmart will provide consulting and project management services to continue go live support of my insight implementation project subject to um, 
organize my complaints. So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item H for the district clerk's office requesting approval to continue the preservation of D and official records volumes with profile technologies through our membership with GSA government contract in the amount of 104,899 with 31 cents and authority county judge to sign all the required documentation. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Bali. Yes, uh, Judge Commissioners, item 19A, one and two, there's no action to be taken this week. Uh, and I will ask the court if we could please go to closed session and then take up uh, the balance of the agenda after closed session. Okay, pursuant to chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code, section 551.071, 551.072, 551.074, and 551.087. We'll be retired to closed session to take up those items. And I have a motion to retire to closed session. Motion to retire to closed session. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. Motion carries. Okay, we're back from executive session. It's 12 minutes after 12. We do have some action items. Sir, Judge Commissioners, thank you. <clears throat> Under open session 23A, real estate acquisition appropriation for same, there's no action to be taken this week. 23B, pending and or potential litigation, no action. 23C, discussion, consideration, possible action regarding response to public health emergency. Judge Commissioners, I will refer to item 20 in a minute or so. Item 23 D, claim of Monica and Ojosa, Judge Commissioners, I'd like Settlement Authority to make an offer in the amount of $3,457.57. So Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Judge Commissioners, for the record, uh, item 22A and 22B, there is no action to be taken. I return back to item 20, discussion, consideration, possible action regarding kind of response A. Kind of response to disaster health emergency one CARES Act funds. Uh, a amendment to Hidalgo County EMS assistance program CARES. Judge Commissioners, if we could have a motion. Motion to approve. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Item 20B measures necessary to preserve public health and safety. There's been some action taken by the court. And item 20C direction regarding county government operations, including but not limited to essential functions. Judge Commissioners. We continue to follow CDC recommended guidelines, social distancing, facial covering, uh, uh, sanitation of our facilities, hand washing. Uh, again, as we have stated in, uh, for quite some time, the health and safety of our residents while doing business in our county offices is first and foremost, uh, as well as uh, our employees uh, that provide uh, that service to our constituency. Judge commissioners, uh, there is no need for uh, item 24, closed session, or item 25, open session, we have adjournment. I have a motion to adjourn. Motion, motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you all. Thank you, Judge. Thank Mayor. you, sir.